some people will say, oh my gosh, you know, I'm, I'm having this very intense feeling of anger or jealousy or sadness and I don't like it and it's horrible and they will start to express this discomfort and distaste for the, this emotional experience. And yet, if we study what's happening just a little bit more closely, we'll see that there is the emotion of anger or jealousy there. You can see it. But there is also a part of us that is in battle with it, fighting it, saying, I don't like you. Go away. This is terrible. Get out of here. And that resistance, that type of resistance, basically increases and exaggerates the experience that we're going through with the emotion. Now, we can't always stop resistance, but I want to present this concept and idea that we can work towards that in order to release the experience that we're having and to allow it to seamlessly process through our system so that we can actually get through it. Imagine that as we resist emotion and as we resist negative thoughts, those thoughts and emotions are trying to find their way through our heart, out of our system, and yet we're not allowing them to because some part of us has some belief that if we fight it, it will stop. And of course, at some point, no doubt it will stop. However, if we didn't let it process through our system, we aren't reaping the benefit of the experience. We are not actually feeling cleansed of whatever that emotion was. We have just stored it again back inside of us to be dealt with again on another day. So how can we look at the ways we can ease our response to difficult thoughts and difficult emotions and work towards creating a peacefulness inside of us to our path. And not just a peacefulness, but a positivity. And not just a positivity, but a deep appreciation that there is a very clear way for us to move to healing. And as we heal, potentially the people around us can start healing and we can imagine the possibility of living in a more peaceful world. Now I'm going to give you uh, an example from my past, from my early 20s. It's not exactly accurate to what I'm talking about, but it gives us another perspective and dimension of this experience of resistance. When I was in my 20s, I would go through at least two weeks of every month, I would go through extreme depression. And I would also experience in that depression heightened fear. And as that was happening, I was just inundated with it, trying to work through it, trying to live my life, trying to survive it. And when it would end, I never felt good. I never felt like, yay, that's over. Oh my gosh. I simply moved from having the experience to being afraid of having the experience knowing it would come back. So I never created one, a recognition of peace of whatever was happening to me was something that 
needed to move through my system and be released and that there was positivity to it in on some level i never spent time being curious deeply curious studying what is this that's happening to me and because of that i was basically just restoring it back inside of myself and i knew that and because i knew it i was also just afraid of reliving that experience so just like on a hamster wheel i was experiencing it over and over and over again now that's kind of an exaggerated version of what i'm telling you about how we create these little resistances everywhere that kind of make our life more difficult and whether that's resistance to washing the dishes or sweeping the floor or paying bills or working it doesn't matter that resistance is creating a barrier and a very thick kind of something some kind of energy that we're trying to fight through to make our lives work instead of finding a way to just drop the resistance and say yes just yes and trust and believe that whatever your yes is it's allowing your life to flow from moment to moment to moment and that if you trust your path your life and your heart every moment is going to lead you exactly where you've always wanted to be and it will continue to do it moment by moment no matter what direction we're looking at in our lives whether it's relationships whether it's where you're going to live career or your path itself 